Jeff Bezos is the world's richest man with a net worth of $112.8 billion, even after divorcing his wife and giving her 25% of the wealth that he accumulated, he is still the richest human being in the world just in front of Bill Gates. Now. What I want to do in this video is take a look into the portfolio of Jeff Bezos so that we can get a better understanding of how he became so wealthy. And after going through Jeff Bezos' investments, I gotta tell you, he is one of the smartest investors that I personally have come across. It seems that his focus with investing is buying innovative, unique businesses businesses that are going to change the way we know the world today. Uh, Bezos says, if you're going to invest in an internet stock, you must be a long-term investor. Anyway, without further ado, let me show you Jeff Bezos's key nine investments. These nine investments have helped make him the richest man in the world today and are his chosen businesses to generate wealth for him in the future. And obviously the key to Jeff Bezos' wealth is a little known company called Amazon. Amazon is a company which Jeff Bezos started in his garage in 1995 where it was initially selling books. But back then people thought, how are you going to compete against those big physical retail stores like Barnes and Nobles? They're just too big. Uh, turns out that selling things online is actually a lot easier and more effective than selling things at a physical store. Within two months, sales reached 20,000 a week and now, today, Amazon is in the top three biggest companies in the world. But obviously these days, Amazon do not just sell books, they sell basically anything that you want. And at great prices. Now, the brick and mortar stores, they just cannot compete at these prices. And to this day, Amazon has expanded to being more than just an online retailer. They have the Amazon Web Services segment, which includes things like AR and VR, blockchain, game tech, machine learning, robotics, and a bunch of other, let's just say, innovative things. Uh, and of course, they have Amazon Prime, which offers a bunch of different benefits, free delivery, Prime Video. Uh, I'm sure you guys all know about the service. Anyway, so Bezos used to own 16% of Amazon, but after divorcing his wife, he now owns 12% of the giant company. Amazon, at the time of making this video, has a market cap of $890 billion, so Bezos has pretty much most of his net worth in the stock. But Amazon is not the only company that Bezos owns today. He has made a number of smart acquisitions throughout his years, in well-known tech companies. So what you're going to find out in this video is that Bezos has made a ridiculous amount of smart investments. One of his smartest was investing in Google in 1998. Uh, according to several reports, he invested $1 million into Google, which today would be worth multiple billions of dollars. Uh, and he was actually one of the first people to invest in the company. So, you know, why did Bezos invest in Google? Well, in his own words, he said there was no business plan. They had a vision. It was a customer-focused point of view. Uh, and, and more tellingly, he adds, I just fell in love with Larry and Sergi. Those are the two co-founders of Google. And now, to this day, Google, or Alphabet as it's now called, has become one of the biggest companies in the world. I believe they're the fourth biggest. Um, they own a bunch of companies under their name, YouTube, Android, DeepMind, the AI company, Waymo, the self-driving car company. Uh, Bezos was very smart to invest in this business back in the day. However, today we do not know if Bezos still owns Google stock or if he has sold. Unfortunately, he does not have to disclose this. So Bezos actually invested in Twitter over a decade ago in 2008 through his investment firm, Bezos Acquisitions. The amount he invested was 15 million and he got in at the second round investment. Uh, and you see, if you're in the loop with some of these 
tech companies when they're first starting up. Man, there is just so much money to be made. Just go ask Bezos. Uh, now, today, Twitter is obviously a massive company, one of the biggest social media sites in the world. Uh, today, they have a valuation of over $22 billion. Moving on to Bezos' next great investment, which I'm sure a lot of you would know, it's a company called Uber. Bezos personally sunk nearly $3 million into the stock that's estimated to be worth $400 million today. Uh, not a bad return on investment. Uber is obviously the ride-sharing company and, excuse me, also the food delivery company. Uh, at the end of the day, Uber is just a cheaper, more efficient business model than taxis, which have been around since the late 1800s. Jeff Bezos, he knew taxis wouldn't be able to compete over the long term against Uber. He invested early and made a lot of money. Uh, a 13,233% return in fact, if my maths are correct. Out of all of the companies that I would expect Jeff Bezos to buy, uh, I gotta be honest, this was one of the ones I least expected. The Washington Post, an old newspaper company, was bought by Jeff Bezos in 2013 for $250 million. Now, obviously, the Washington Post is a major newspaper company that has been around for a long time, since 1877. But the reason why Bezos bought the Washington Post was first because he knew how important of an institution it is. Also, he knew he could bring it forward into the internet age. And within just three years of owning the Washington Post, Bezos transformed it from first being unprofitable to profitable and he doubled their total web traffic. Bezos, he's a genius when it comes to the online world. Uh, and it just shows you how important it is when you invest to get the right managers with the right modern day mindset. Someone like Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, or, or Jack Ma. These are the types of people I want running my business. So this is a business bought by Bezos through his company Amazon. So technically all those Amazon shareholders out there also own Whole Foods as well. Uh, Jeff Bezos bought Whole Foods for $13.7 billion in 2017. If you ask why did he buy it? Well, as you know from his previous investments, Bezos is always thinking about the future, the long-term future. First of all, he knows customers have been on a trend to being more conscious, conscious of what they are putting in their bodies. Uh, and this is exactly what Whole Foods is all about. Uh, they only sell products free from hydrogenated fats and artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. Uh, Bezos said this on the Whole Foods acquisition. What we're going to be able to do is take some of our resources, some of our technological know-how, and expand the Whole Foods mission, which they have a great mission, which is to bring nourishing food to everybody. This next investment, I don't think it's something that's going to pay off in the short term, but it could be an absolute game changer in the long term. Bezos has invested billions of dollars into a company called Blue Origin. So, Blue Origin is a space company. Uh, I believe it's the main competition to Elon Musk's SpaceX. Blue Origin, it seeks to enable private human access to space with the goal to dramatically lower cost and increase reliability. Is this going to make a lot of money for Jeff Bezos? Hmm, I'm not sure. Perhaps in the long term, it might make quite a lot. But either way, what it is doing is providing a quality service to humanity. It's vital that we become multi-planetary. My wife asked me why I spoke so softly in the house. I told her I was afraid Jeff Bezos was listening. She laughed. I laughed. Alexa laughed. Siri laughed. <laughs> Alexa is obviously the AI virtual assistant, which you can speak to, and it can do various tasks for you. For example, it can play music, it can check the weather, make to-do lists, set alarms, etc. Uh, Bezos has said, 
Amazon has doubled the number of scientists working to improve Alexa uh, and he vaunted advances in machine learning which have made Alexa smarter. Uh, I personally think this type of technology is going to play a big part in our future and was very wise for Bezos to invest in. Bezos slash Amazon raised a lot of eyebrows when it purchased the enormously popular Twitch game streaming service for $970 million in August 2014. Uh, for those mm, most likely slightly older viewers who don't know what Twitch is, it's a video live streaming service. It's primarily focused around video game live streaming, including esports competitions. Uh, esports is absolutely massive these days in fact one game league of legends gets more views on its final competition than the super bowl does and it's growing at a fast pace as well uh, bezos said esports has become a big thing there were many many thousands watching live and it was really quite amazing bezos told the telegraph uh, i'm a consumer of media of all kinds but that kind of media is a whole new segment that is very exciting uh, this twitch investment was so smart by jeff bezos uh, and, and that's the thing for some reason with all of bezos's investments he seems to know what the trends are in the future uh, amazon instead of selling things at a store sell them online it's much much easier google use the internet to put the world's knowledge on twitter put your opinions on the internet alexa use ai as a virtual assistant uh, these are all futuristic investments that bezos knew would be big back in the day you see when bezos invests he's not just closing his eyes crossing his fingers and hoping for the best no he specifically invests in companies that he knows are going to thrive in the future that's why he says if you're going to invest in an internet stock you must be a long-term investor uh, and I've just shown you nine of his key investments but Bezos has made plenty more smart investments in his portfolio the likes of Zappos Audible IMDB Juno rethink robotics a, a bunch of game-changing innovative long-term companies um, if you want to become wealthy it's simple invest in and start businesses that are going to change the world as we know it today for the better